Hello, I hope y'all are doing well this week. Uh, just bringing you a love letter from Laurel. Uh, so last week I had the incredible opportunity to go and spend a few days in the Blue Ridge Mountains on the Shenandoah River, um, staying with an old boss of mine and his wife who have been uh, friends and now um, of mine and of my husband's for over 15 years. And um, as I was spending time with them and uh, just reflecting on um, all that he meant to me as a boss, it really uh, reminded me of um, the m one of the best attributes of a boss is also being a mentor and a coach and somebody who will come alongside you in your career journey as well as your life journey and a partner with you and help you to grow and to develop and who will pour their energy into you uh, in just a variety of ways and um, as I spent time with David and his wife Laura I was just reminded of uh, just all of the important factors of um, being a boss, being a leader, and uh, what that looks like to mentor and to coach someone. And uh, David in particular uh, gave me opportunities that challenged me and uh, that gave me autonomy to, uh, to fail and to not do things uh, perfectly. Um, but uh, so that I could really grow and thrive and he walked alongside me he didn't just throw me in the deep end uh, but he was there you know uh, when I had questions and when I needed help and was available uh, to partner with me uh, through all of the different uh, opportunities that he had, that he provided to me and he also just came alongside me in personal life as well. And um, we spent many a dinner together of uh, my husband, Corey, and I, along with uh, David and his wife, Laura, just uh, talking about life and understanding life. And there's just such a beauty in um, partnering with people, mentoring people, and having someone in your life who will uh, be there, you know, whether it's in your developmental years like David was in mine in my early career or throughout your entire career. I think it's just so critical uh, that we all have a mentor or a coach throughout our entire career journey, regardless of what stage we're at in that journey. Um, so my love letter to you today, my encouragement to, to you today is to make sure that you have a mentor or a coach in your life, somebody who loves you and is supportive of you and is going to speak into your life in all aspects and uh, really be there with you along the journey. And if you can't think of someone uh, that can fill that for you um, or you don't have someone, then hire someone. I've done that at different points in my life as well. And that has been incredible. And I've had people who, uh, when I was in coaching, who hired me. Um, and that just is it. Uh, you need someone who's that third party, you know, outside person who can kind of speak into your life and into your situations uh, without, you know, maybe being too close to things with you sometimes. So, um, so think about both. If you don't have a mentor, uh, think about hiring a coach. Uh, the or organization that I used to work for, Building Champions, is a phenomenal one to think of. And um, so find somebody who will love you, speak into your life, and uh, be there as a partner for you along your journey. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.